Hi everyone, this is Joyce from Creative Biolabs Vaccine. Today, I will introduce some knowledge about vaccine development and GMP manufacturing. I hope what I provide can help you in your research. All my introduction includes goals of vaccine development, vaccine development stages, vaccine manufacturing, challenges for vaccine development, and our service. Vaccines are biological products that prevent and control the occurrence of infectious diseases, and are used to increase the body's ability to combat disease organisms. Vaccines are very effective, and they're the best protection against many serious diseases. Most people who get vaccinated will have immunity against the disease. Most vaccines are designed to help the body fight off a specific type of bacterium, protozoan, or virus. Vaccines and vaccine candidates have been directed at bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasitic, and non-infectious diseases, such as autoimmune disease and neurodegenerative disease vaccines. In addition, some vaccines have been developed to stop the growth of cancer cells and to protect military troops from biological warfare. The goal of vaccine process development is to develop a manufacturing process that can consistently produce a vaccine that is safe and efficacious. And the development process of vaccines can be simplified into two broad stages, preclinical development and clinical development. Preclinical development is research carried out in lab assays and on animals. It includes discovery of relevant antigens, vaccine concept design, evaluation of vaccine efficacy in vivo assays and in vitro assays, and manufacture of the vaccine to good manufacturing practice standards. Clinical development is when the vaccine is first tested in humans. It covers four stages over several years, from initial clinical trials in humans phase 1 right through to post-marketing phase 4. Clinical development is built on rigorous ethical principles of informed consent from volunteers, with an emphasis on vaccine safety as well as efficacy. After being thoroughly tested in an animal model, vaccine candidates that are found to be safe and induce immunity can advance to testing in humans. To license a vaccine, three phases of clinical testing must be completed in healthy subjects. Phase I clinical trials are small-scale trials to assess whether the vaccine is safe in humans and what immune response it evokes. Phase II clinical trials are larger and look mainly to assess the efficacy of the vaccine against artificial infection and clinical disease. In this phase, vaccine safety, side effects and the immune response are also studied. Vaccines that progress to Phase III clinical trials are studied on a large scale of many hundreds of subjects across several sites to evaluate efficacy under natural disease conditions. If the vaccine retains safety and efficacy over a defined period, the manufacturer is able to apply to the regulatory authorities for a license to market the product for human use. The final phase 4 happens after the vaccine has been licensed and introduced into use. Also called post-marketing surveillance, this stage aims to detect rare adverse effects as well as to assess long-term efficacy. These phases proceed in a stepwise fashion. Only vaccine candidates that are determined to be safe and capable of inducing an immune response advance to the next phase. The manufacture of vaccines is achieved from the propagation of living organisms. Some of these may be dangerous human pathogens. Therefore, the manufacture of vaccines is conducted in a highly regulated and controlled environment. All vaccine manufacturers are subject to national and international regulatory control, and must comply with specifications for good manufacturing practices, to ensure that products are safe for use in humans, and ensure that the identity, strength, quality, and purity of products consistently meet regulatory specifications. Vaccine production needs to be carried out in a sterile environment and closely monitored by quality control measures. Different vaccine types, the actual production process is different. For example, the specific ingredients added to a viral vaccine and a bacterial vaccine are different. In addition, manufacturers need to carefully identify and store the primary seed virus or bacteria used to initiate each production run to ensure consistency in the final product. The production of a vaccine can be divided in the following five steps. The first is propagation. This step in order to produce a vaccine is generating the antigen that will trigger the immune response. The second is release and isolation of the antigen. The aim of this second step is to release as much virus or bacteria as possible. To achieve this, the antigen will be separated from the cells and isolated from the proteins and other parts of the growth medium that are still present. 
the third is purification. In this step, the antigen will need to be purified in order to produce a high purity slash quality product. We have to remove all materials that may be adhering to the isolated organisms, or selectively separates the portion of the living organism to be used in the vaccine. Usually, this will be accomplished using different techniques for protein purification. For this purpose, several separation steps will be carried out using the differences in for instance protein size, physical chemical properties, binding affinity or biological activity. The fourth step is to add other components onto the vaccine. This step may include the addition of an adjuvant, which is a material that enhances the recipient's immune response to a supplied antigen. The vaccine is then formulated by adding stabilizers to prolong the storage life or preservatives to allow multidose vials to be used safely as needed. Finally, all components that constitute the final vaccine are combined and mixed uniformly in a single vial or syringe. The final step is to pack the vaccine in sterile vials, store it or ship it everywhere. In the production of vaccines, manufacturers usually choose different ways of pathogen proliferation according to different vaccines, to obtain pathogenic proteins or DNA. Viruses are grown on primary cells such as, cells from chicken embryos, or using fertilized eggs, or cell lines that reproduce repeatedly. Bacteria are grown in bioreactors which are devices that use a particular growth medium, that optimizes the production of the antigens. Recombinant proteins derived from the pathogen can be generated either in yeast, bacteria or cell cultures. Because vaccines are biological products, they are highly regulated. Vaccine research and development has a high risk. On the one hand, vaccine research and development need a lot of money. On the other hand, vaccine development is carried out in an iterative manner. Only less than one-tenth of vaccines can be successfully licensed. Determining the appropriate antigen is also a major challenge in vaccine development. The uncertainty of antigen and the uncertainty of the human immune system response to the corresponding antigen will increase the failure rate of vaccine development. Some candidate vaccines may produce an appropriate level of immune response, but can cause important adverse reactions. Other candidate vaccines may be safe, but ineffective in preventing disease. In addition, the type and concentration of adjuvants, acceptable delivery systems, regulatory approvals, technical and manufacturing barriers, are also the major challenges in vaccine development. Created Biolabs, headquartered in New York, is a leading custom service provider in the field of vaccine development, preclinical assessment, and GMP manufacturing. Our technical and regulatory experts can provide vaccine developers with a full range of products and vaccine-related services. Traditional and the most updated genetic engineering technologies are combined to efficiently produce highly immunogenic and safe vaccines to address emergency unmet medical needs. Our service includes pathogen or target-based vaccine design, adjuvant selection, vaccine analytical development and qualification, vaccine preclinical assessment, formulation development, and process development and GMP manufacturing. Welcome to our website to learn more.